before God's voice thundered into the unformed cosmos, sending forth light at 186,000 miles per second, before he created the Canis Majoris star large enough to house seven quadrillion Earths, before he set the Earth on its elliptical course and started it spinning, God imagined you. His eyes saw your unformed substance, and your days were written in God's book, when as yet there was none of them, Psalm 139 tells us. Before the Lord formed you in the womb, he knew you, Jeremiah 1 tells us. The pinnacle of God's creation is not seen in the expanse of the Grand Canyon or the towering sequoias of the Redwood Forest. You are the pinnacle of God's handiwork. His greatest masterpiece is not unveiled in a multi-hued sunset over a rolling ocean or even in a radiant rainbow arced across freshly emptied clouds. You are God's masterpiece. So I bless you to be as Ephraim and Manasseh because once adopted by Jacob, they knew they belonged forever. Heirs who could never be disowned. God made you and then he adopted you. It means you are his for good. That's today's blessing. It is referencing the mysterious scene of Jacob blessing his grandsons in Genesis 48. And that is the lens through which my new book, The Power to Bless, tells all about this mystical power of blessing and how we can learn to bless others. It's available for pre-order now. I hope you'll get it from Amazon. And if you'd like to start out every day with blessing, if you haven't done so, be sure and subscribe to this channel and start out your day fueled not by your promises to God, but by his promises to you. Every day can start with blessing.